All right. Well, when you think of Nazi zombie games, there's a whole bunch out there, and it was a fun mode to be had for sure. And there's bound to be some movies of it. And although I never really watched too much of or really cared about the other post movies that there are in the sequels, a types of obscure movie that many people don't see and is an overtly B-ish and unknown type of movies, there is a movie that shines through as what I believe to be one of the most fucking amazing movies ever made, and it has garnered not a whole lot of attention besides a whole bunch of well-spirited gamers within us. Now, Outpost takes place during World War II, and it's quite fucking amazing when it ties into Nazi zombies, because it's realistic, it's believable, it's gory as all hell, and the characters are absolutely incredible in it. Uh, the main character, uh, the main Spetsnaz uh, fighter, is fucking awesome, and he's played so beautifully. So yeah, kudos to the actor. Brian Larkin plays this character awesome. He's badass, he's tough, he's mean as balls, and he's ready to kick some ass. And he kicks ass in many places in this, and his overall prowess and skill in combat shines through. You'll love, fucking fall in love with this character. Well, I did fall in love with him almost as much as the Nazi general. And now he is just sinister and badass, and he plays a fucking unbelievable German officer. The exchanges between these two and the rivalry just is amazing. It's almost as if, dare I say, you're watching a Quentin Tarantino movie when you're watching this. It's so gory, so over to the top. The kills are violent, the people are violent, it's a dark world. And maybe that's what the general public doesn't really like nowadays. They like to have their safe little movies full of things. And this movie is definitely not safe. It's a dark, dreary and vicious world and you have to fight to survive in it it's fucking awesome and the setting in world war ii just sets it off i really 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 like this movie and it's kind of a little bit obscure i mean i'm sure it's got a cult movie it, it has cult moviness written all over it although i'm sure it's not as popular as it deserves i think that this goes down as one of the best kind of if you would label it so much as like a video game movie it's a, it has the same amount of, of coolness that video games often share, and it's just an awesome fucking movie, and I totally 100% recommend it to anybody. Now there is a limited amount of it, so once you're through this movie, it's over, and all the other movies don't aren't really worth mentioning. But when I first saw this movie, I was fucking just lit. I could not believe the shit I was seeing. And it's, it's weird because these movies you don't really hear about, you just stumble upon. And when you see them, you're like, why the fuck doesn't everybody want like sequels to this? And maybe not the Outpost name, but like um, if they made a direct sequel to this movie, it would be amazing. I'd highly recommend you check it out. It's a good experience. It's a cool movie. It's one of those movies that was, feels really cool and the characters and stories really get to you. It's like got everything I like in movies. It's got viciousness, it's got war, it's got fucking survival of the fittest. It's just a beautiful movie and it really needs more praise. And the actor Brian Larkin needs a lot more praise because he's a fucking awesome badass in this. And like just more movies like this like they just don't make fucking movies like this is that often i mean sometimes movies like joker and this and that like they break through once upon a time in hollywood like these movies always break through but they're never like when they're wicked it's like they're just it's just good it's just like i could watch this movie over and over and over again because every time you see little bits of it that you missed and it just gets, it's cooler and you admire the characters more and more when you watch them. And most importantly as all, well, the characters aren't fucking pussy bitches. They're fucking awesome. They kick some ass. And that main character, oh man, in this movie, he's so good. I could do a whole fucking series on this guy. We need more of him. He's so badass. Check it out.